So I want to do a video comparing um, numerous different clones of Layton. Uh, several clone houses now offer alternatives to Layton, their inspirations um, of Layton, and I have gotten just about all of them. Uh, there are several I don't have, uh, including Monarch's version, as well as Dua, uh, their royal uh, chariot guitar. The reason I don't have that is it's been out of stock for months. Um, I am going to get it as soon as they get it back in stock, but currently um, still waiting on that. So anyway, I wanted to do this because I had some people who were asking um, for a comparison video. Uh, the most recent I got was Dapper's version of Layton. I also have um, Genre uh, for Problems uh, Refuge, which is their inspired by version of Layton, as well as um, Alexandria Fragrance's Royal Equestrian, which was my first uh, clone of Layton, and uh, the House of Squirts, uh, their version of Layton as well. So anyway, the purpose of this video is to kind of just compare all of those clones, uh, which one I think is the best, uh, the best overall, as well as the best smelling. Uh, I'll start off by saying, honestly, they're all pretty damn good. Um, some are better than others, admittedly, but in, in not necessarily better, uh, just different. I mean, they're, they're all really good. Um, I would start with I'll go from my, I guess my, what I think is the least impressive, uh, to the one I like the most. And honestly, the one that I think really was the worst is the one by House of Squirts. Um, it was cheap. I think it was the cheapest of all of these, actually. I want to say it was uh, maybe $19. So their offerings are super cheap. They admittedly smell very good it smells more like a sweeter late now comparing it to the original one the other one offerings it's sweeter uh, it also doesn't have that menthol you know that real late has some of the other clones as well as the lasting power is not as good um, and nor is projection projections mediocre um, yeah maybe three out of five say projects maybe maybe two hours max um, performance is maybe three uh, so I mean it's for the money it's alright you know atomizers not great uh, so if you're looking for a cheap alternative something that you know you just want for a few hours or you don't mind reapplying and you're okay with the sweeter take on late this isn't bad nonetheless it's my least favorite of the offerings my second favorite, this is really hard. I'd say these two are kind of on the same level, and I'll explain why. So, Genre Parfums Refuge. This is their version. Uh, honestly, I've been very happy with everything I've gotten from this company. Super cheap. This is $25 for 30 ml. The uh, guy who runs the company is fantastic to work with, great customer service. The only downside is right now they're ordering sporadic and you have to wait for the window to open up. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but honestly, it's, I mean, you just, you just order enough to hold you over until it opens again. And I've been, like I said, hands down super satisfied. Now, this is different from the Squirts version as it's, it's not a sweet. And it also has a, I want to say a harsher note. Uh, people who have the normal latent will know that the real latent. There's that menthol you know, it's kind of has this, um, not a peroxide, but it's like a, it's just not sweet. Uh, but this has that. It doesn't have the menthol, though. Um, well, it, it sort of does. It's a slider menthol you know, is really what you're getting. So it's more closer to the real thing than the squirts. Performance is pretty good on this. Uh, five, six hours easy, maybe even longer. Projection's pretty good as well. Get it, you know, two, three hours projection and it projects from pretty far distance. It'll stay on clothes really long, actually. Um, but on the skin, not, you know, not as long, which is pretty 
simple. Uh, that's probably my second favorite, but it's I'd say it's in line with this one, which is Dapper's uh, version of late and presentation on Dapper's fragrances are not great. Uh, the most generic decan bottles, they literally have a label maker, they just put the generic label on there, but the fragrances are good. Um, the atomizers are actually pretty decent too. See it, but uh, this has a slight menthol note too. But I will say it's 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 not as strong. Uh, it's almost like all the notes in Leighton have been toned down. It's not to say it doesn't project and perform well. It does. Uh, it's just not as it's not as strong. Uh, I, I guess to me, you know, I did spray this side by side with Refuge, and Refuge, Refuge lasted longer. Uh, this had a better dry down, admittedly. Um, Refuge kind of gets that, that menthol-y note that, like I said, more uh, kind of harshness. It dries down really with that, with the sweetness kind of going away, uh, which isn't really like the real latent. This maintains uh, the sweetness as well. It just doesn't last as long, nor does it really have that, you know, I guess the same boldness that Leighton does. It's, it's like a toned down version. But with that, it's probably less offensive to people. He said it performs and it projects well. This is uh, $30 for 30 mil. So it's a little more expensive than the genres. Um, I wouldn't say it's any worse. I wouldn't say it's any better, like I said genres uh, a little cheaper it does remind me of more of latent because it has that uh, more mentally methylated kind of uh, feel to it but the dry down is slightly um, just too too harsh whereas this dry down is better but it doesn't have that mentally methylated feel to it doesn't smell as uh, authentic, or I guess is, it's not as good of a clone in general as Refuge to when you're comparing it, comparing it to the original. It's good in its own right. It's definitely very close, way better than Squirts. Um, you know, of the clones, hands down, without having Dua, haven't tried Dua obviously because it's not available. I haven't tried Monarch. Um, Alexandria's Royal Equestrian is hands down. Both the closest and the best of the clone albums. So much so that I actually got a backup bottle. Um, this strong. Projection's fantastic. Performance is great. It has that methylated opening. Some people don't like it. I understand that. I love it. Dry down is amazing. It's just oh, this is <laughs> this is hands down the best. Now obviously it's it's, it's more expensive. 30 mil is uh, $42.99. You can get 10% off on their site pretty much all the time using the Alexandria 10 discount, but it's still more expensive than the other offerings. Um, you, know, you can almost get two of the genres, so 60 mil, for the same price as a 30 mil of Alexandria. You know, so it's whether or not you think the difference in price is worth it. To me, it is. Uh, like I said, I cannot get enough of this. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I like having the other offerings because this is more expensive. So if I'm going somewhere that I don't really care as much, especially like work or something, I'll use Refuge or Dapper offering. Uh, if I'm going to the store, I'll probably you know, use the squirts because uh, I don't really care as much. It doesn't even last as long. I'm just going out running some errands or something. Um, but if I'm going on a date or going out to a club or bars or whatever the case may be, I'm using this. This is hands down the best. I honestly have been very satisfied with Alexandria Fragrances, one of my favorite clone houses, with all of their offerings that I've tried from them, but they are more pricey. Um, you know, you get that with Dua as well. Both are fantastic. So you, you get what you pay for. Uh, that's not to say again, John or Dapper, bad, they're not. Those are great as well. But money is not an issue. There's no comparison. So that's
that's my review on these. I know they, there's a ton of latent clones. A lot of people love latent. I mean, it's one of my top two favorite fragrances. I get a lot of shit for it. It's that and Aventus. Um, I'll also be doing comparison of clones as well, with Aventus as well. Um, I have quite a few of those. But anyway, I'll be making more videos uh, to compare some of the clone houses because I know a lot of people are interested in finding alternatives that are cheap. I am a big fan of clone houses. Um, they serve a great purpose for people who cannot afford some of the more expensive niche fragrances, and I understand the concern people have regarding them, but at the same time, a lot of these people wouldn't be able to buy the real deal anyway, so I don't know that it's really cutting into those profits that much, and people who can't afford the real deal are probably going to get it anyway. So, that's that. Thank you all for watching.